Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome to this update video. This update video comes after the completion of our most recent Let's Play cycle, that being Let's Play Professor Layton in the Curious Village and the subsequent blind playthrough of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. In today's update video, I will discuss both of those series, as well as discuss some summer plans I have, and uh, just give a general thank you to uh, the, the viewers before we announce the next Nintendo Let's Play which should be a very, very good one for the summer. I'm hoping that people will enjoy it. First and foremost though, let's discuss Professor Layton and the Curious Village, which was the most recent Let's Play we completed. That one is one of our shorter Let's Plays actually. I believe it was only 21 or 22 videos in length, um, which is not very long. It's the second shortest with uh, Luigi's Mansion being the first shortest. And um, you know, I think it was, it ended up being for the best that it was a little bit shorter. I don't think that uh, Professor Layton in the Curious Village captured uh, the audience entirely that uh, that the other Let's Plays have, uh, but that's okay. I had a good time playing it, and you know, it's done now, and I can say I have it under my belt. I will say though, sometimes coming home after a day of school to do more, like, schoolwork essentially, logic problems, math problems, reading problems, wasn't always the most relaxing thing. So, uh, you know, it's good to be done with it, and we might see more Professor Layton in the future. There are, I believe, four other games in the series uh, that are sequels, and then maybe there's a handful of prequels as well. Um, there are options, uh, but for now I think we are all good on Fress Layton and the Curious Village. I believe there were three bonus videos, and that covered up all the content I want to cover, uh, so I'm pretty confident in saying that Fress Layton and the Curious Village is all wrapped up, and uh, we won't be seeing that on the channel again unless something crazy happens, like a data leak to get to the beta version of the game or something. But for now, I think we're done. The next thing I want to discuss is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which was the blind uh, playthrough we did after Let's Play Professor Layton and The Curious Village. And The Vanishing of Ethan Carter was a super, super good game. I actually had a ton of fun playing it, and um, the ending was... no spoilers here, but but the ending was a little... eh? Not not the best ending in my eyes, but we, we made of it what we did, and uh, if you were interested in watching the entire playthrough, uh, feel free to do so. It is uh, completed, there will be the playlists in the playlist section of my channel, and I believe it's eight episodes long, um, usually I think sitting around about two hours, 40 minutes. Uh, so it's, it's pretty good. It's um, like a mystery game. There's some scary parts, but, but mostly it's figuring out this mystery and it was a good mystery. There were clues that I definitely didn't pick up on to get to the ending that the developers provided, uh, but they also in a developer post on the website said that the ending is whatever we want it to be. And so uh, in the comment section of the eighth episode, I left a really long pinned comment about what I think the ending should be, and uh, that's that's the canon ending that I have, I suppose. Uh, overall though, it was a really fun playthrough, uh, I had a lot of fun puzzles, a lot of fun mechanics, and uh, if you guys know any games similar to that, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I would love to play them in the future. I've been playing a lot more uh, extra games here on the channel, uh, for example, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Kingdom Hearts, so if there's a game that I find to be interesting, I will definitely just add it into the uh, one of the videos for the week, and uh, if it picks up, then we can continue to, uh, you know, we, we have seven days in a week, and I only really plan content on Wednesdays and Saturdays, being right now it's Castlevania Symphony of the Night, but otherwise it can be whatever side game we're playing. Uh, so, you know, there's flexibility there, and uh, I'm definitely interested in playing a lot more games like those. Speaking of things I'm interested in doing, it is summer for me, and I have a lot of summer plans for the channel. Uh, mainly, there's a potential for live streams. I have an idea to do live streams on YouTube. I've never done them before, and I'm not sure how they work, um, but I'd be interested in, in doing it. Uh, I have ideas to do a couple of things like Minecraft or like Mario Kart, Mario Maker, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizers. I have a couple of those uh, generated that we could do. Uh, so I have some ideas. I don't really know how streaming works on YouTube. I know like Ludwig does it and stuff, and I've tuned into a couple of Ludwig streams, but Obviously, he's kind of an outlier because he's like the biggest streamer on the platform. So it's it's a little hard to judge how like a channel my size would do in the live space. Uh, so if you guys have any experience with that, uh, please let me know in the comments section. I also have a potential special stream coming up. Uh, I have this idea that I've been cooking up since uh, December of last year. Uh, something like a little inkling of something I wanted to do. And I might end up going through with that. If I do, uh, there will be a dedicated video announcing it. And then, of course, the stream will will occur uh, so stay tuned for that and um yeah i might uh 
reveal some more about that in the near future. But if it happens, it'll happen pretty early in July. So if I don't say anything by early July, bother me about it, pester me about it, and I'll get back to you. The final thing I want to talk about before I announce the next Nintendo Let's Play is just a, an overall thank you uh, for the support on the channel as of late. The channel's been doing really, really good, and when the channel does good, I feel good, and uh, you know, it creates this sort of cycle where I want to do more for the channel, and then the channel sort of gives back to me, and you guys are the reason for that. Uh, so a big thank you to all the viewers uh, for, for watching, especially if you're watching this update video. I would imagine if you're watching an update video, you care a little more uh, about me, I suppose, than about the channel itself. Uh, because if you were just like like a Minecraft fan, you would probably just watch the Minecraft videos, you know? But you're here watching this, so thank you. It means a lot, and um, I hope that that uh, the next Let's Play announce is going to be good for you, and that all the things I'm making uh, in the foreseeable future is, uh, is to your liking, and we will see continued success. So thanks a bundle. Remember to tell your friends about my YouTube channel if you think they would enjoy it. It always means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I say that at the end of every video, but sometimes I say it too fast. I like speak too fast, and even I'm, when I'm editing, I'm like, what? What did I just say there? How are they supposed to know what I said? But usually YouTube's, uh, YouTube's closed captions can pick it up, so if closed captions can pick it up, I hope you guys can too. That's a bit of a sidetrack. Let's get focused up again and get ready to announce the next Let's Play. Because it's here, ladies and gentlemen. The Let's Play series that will carry us through summer of 2022 is finally here. I appreciate you guys allowing me to take a little bit of extra time, uh, about two extra weeks than I normally take between Let's Plays. Uh, allowed me to finish up school, and now I can go all in on this Let's Play. And it should be a pretty massive one. This game uh, should be one that a lot of people are familiar with. Perhaps the game that most people are familiar with uh, from this platform and from this era. And uh, hopefully it's one that everyone can get super interested in. I'm not going to hype it up anymore though, because I'm just going to let you guys see the announcement for yourself. It's me, Mario. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to be the first to welcome you to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Now before we discuss this game and its iconic nature, I want to explain I'll be playing on the Nintendo Switch Super Mario 3D All-Stars version of the game, uh, because this is the highest resolution version of the game, it is the most polished version of the game in terms of glitches, it does lack a few things that I will be uh, mentioning when we get into uh, discussing uh, the, the series itself uh, in the actual series. I will explain some version differences. Uh, but this is the highest resolution version. I think it will provide for the uh, the most enjoyable watch experience. Uh, of course, with uh, emulation and whatnot, you can use uh, HD texture packs and whatnot. And uh, I wanted to stick to official versions of the game. And this is just what I would consider to be the definitive version of the game. And so we will be playing this version here for Super Mario 64. Uh, it is an iconic Nintendo game released for the Nintendo 64, the first time Mario made the jump into the 3D space, and gosh, was it incredible. The camera may be awful in today's standards, but gosh, is it a good game. We will be 100%ing this game, collecting all 120 stars, and it will be vastly enjoyable, at least I'm hoping. And ladies and gentlemen, this series begins tomorrow. So I will see you guys all back here then, hopefully. And uh, I'm super excited. I hope you are too. Let your friends know if you think they'd be interested in this announcement. Put it in all your discords and whatnot. And uh, I will see you back here tomorrow for episode one of Let's Play Super Mario 64. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And to friends with my channel, if you think they would enjoy it, it means a lot to me when you guys turn my videos around. And I'll catch you guys. I'll be back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.